If you've tried everything to recover from long COVID, but nothing's worked, these three antioxidants might be the game changer you need. As you know, if you've been following my channel, one of the things that happens with long COVID is the awakening of dormant underlying viruses. Viruses are intruders in our body, causing our immune systems to work much harder and to fight off the virus. And when your immune system goes into overdrive, it produces a lot more free radicals as part of the defense process. These free radicals are the waste products that your body has to deal with. And if there's too many built up, they overwhelm your body's ability to clear them. This is what leads to oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is like a little battle happening in your body. Every day, your body makes energy by using oxygen, but in the process, it also produces some waste, kind of like a car creates exhaust fumes, right? By running on gasoline. These waste products are called free radicals. And if too many build up, they start to attack your healthy cells and that's what causes damage. Normally your body has antioxidants, which are the cleanup crew that keeps things in balance by neutralizing those free radicals. But when the number of free radicals outnumbers the number of antioxidants, it causes oxidative stress. So over time, this leads to inflammation and damage to your cells, your tissues, even your DNA contributing to problems like aging, chronic illness, and feeling run down, especially if you're recovering from something like long COVID. Hello, and welcome to this growing community of people who are ready to heal from symptoms that conventional medicine doesn't have answers for. I am Carrie Bailey. I am your functional nutritionist, and I help people recover from long COVID and resolve weird mystery symptoms through therapeutic nutrition, herbs, and targeted supplements. So let's talk about what antioxidants are and why we need them. Antioxidants are compounds generally found in food, but also in supplements that help protect our cells from oxidative stress. Think of your body like a machine, right? Every time it processes oxygen in order to make energy, it, harmful byproducts called free radicals are created. These free radicals are unstable molecules that damage your cells. It's kind of like rust forming on metal. And antioxidants neutralize these free radicals before they can cause harm, protecting your body from inflammation and chronic disease. Let's talk about what oxidative stress is. Oxidative stress happens when there's an imbalance between free radicals and antioxidants. In long COVID, too many free radicals accumulate in the body from your body's own normal functioning and the extra burden of the underlying viral infection. So then you're going to need a lot more antioxidants to help your body recover. The oxidative stress damages your cells, your proteins, and your DNA. Oxidative stress leads to inflammation, premature aging, and contributes to diseases like cancer, diabetes, and it prevents us from fighting the underlying infections. Antioxidants have an important role in long COVID. In long COVID, the immune system is in overdrive. It's producing more free radicals, which leads to oxidative stress and chronic inflammation. This can result in lingering symptoms like fatigue and brain fog and respiratory issues. Antioxidants help reduce oxidative stress calming inflammation, supporting the bodies in, in its ability to recover. Before I jump into the top three antioxidants you need to recover from long COVID, I want to share an amazing tool that I created just for my long COVID community here on YouTube, the long COVID recovery guide. This guide has my essential steps to healing from long COVID. I left a link in both the comments and the description below. So Check it out. Let's talk about the top three anti antioxidants you need for long COVID. Number one, I've talked to you about before, but it's still super foundationally important. And that is vitamin C. Vitamin C is a potent antioxidant. Not only does it fight free radicals, but it boosts your immune system. So it's kind of doing serving two purposes. It supports the repair of the damaged cells and can reduce the duration of the viral infection. 
making it vital for recovery from long COVID. Now we cannot make vitamin C in our bodies. We must get it from food, supplements, or ideally from both. We need vitamin C to heal from injuries, sickness, and any cellular damage caused by the underlying infections. All healing in the body requires vitamin C. Now the food sources of vitamin C are oranges, potatoes, sweet potatoes, red bell peppers, colored bell peppers, not green bell peppers, and broccoli. And I talk about lemons and lemon water too. So those are lemons and limes are a great source as well. When it comes to supplementation, you want to avoid vitamin C's with ascorbic acid. And that's most of what's out there on the shelves, whether it's a high quality um, professional grade product or something that you're going to pick up at Walmart. You want to avoid ascorbic acid because it's made from genetically modified corn, right? And 90% of the corn in the world is genetically modified. So you don't know, right? Unless you want to call the manufacturer and ask, but just assume that there's a really good chance that that is genetically modified. You want to find a form that is a buffered and it's food-based. Buffered is what's going to make it not so acidic. And food-based is again from, there's lots of foods that have high dosages of vitamin C. Now, my two favorite products, you should be able to get on Amazon, if you live outside the United States, you should be able to get it on iHerb. Someone always makes fun of me for the way I say herb. Herb, I herb, I herb. <laughs> um, Micro C by Vemergy is one product I like a lot. And the other one is Ester C Plus by Solgar. Let's get into the second antioxidant that's amazing for long COVID. And this is luteolin. Luteolin is a flavonoid, right? Which is, just means that it's a phytochemical found in your fruits and vegetables. It's known for its strong anti-inflammatory and neuroprotective effects. It can cross the blood brain barrier, making it especially helpful for managing brain fog and any cognitive issues related to long COVID. This is the number one supplement to get if you get COVID infection again, right? And then it's endemic. It's around just like the cold and flu at this point. People are still testing for it and wearing masks and things like that, but it's here to stay. So each time you get a COVID um, infection, take some luteolin. Your food sources of luteolin are celery, oranges, parsley, peppers, again, not green peppers, but any other colored peppers is great. Thyme, oregano, spinach, and olive leaf which you can get in supplement form. The number one supplement with luteolin is Mirica. And they've actually just in August, they actually pr produced a paper kind of talking about these two ingredient combinations. So you can, it's hard to find luteolin, but you can find it by itself. But this product Mirica with, I'm going to slaughter this name, but palmitoy lethanolamide, <laughs> say that once uh, PEA is the abbreviation and luteolin. It's the combination of the two. That's really amazing for your immune system and your nervous system. The third antioxidant is NAC it stands for N-acetylcysteine and N-acetylcysteine is the precursor to glutathione. Glutathione is the most major antioxidant in your body and your body ideally makes it, but it has to have all the right ingredients to make it. You have to be able to methylate in order to make um, glutathione, but glutathione helps to boost your body's antioxidant defenses. It's also directly reduces inflammation. It supports the lung health and it improves your immune function. Now, the interesting thing is that there are no food sources of NAC. It is purely a molecule that was created. NAC is not found directly in foods, but you can find it in supplement form. There's a lot of brands out there. I always like Designs for Health. I'll put a link in the description below. In summary, antioxidants play a critical role in combating oxidative stress and inflammation, both of which are heightened in long COVID. By incorporating these nutrients into your diet, you can help your support your body's recovery process and reduce symptoms like fatigue, brain fog, and any kind of respiratory issues. 
If you found this video helpful, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I am on a mission to help 1 million people with my videos, so please share this video with someone that you feel might benefit. That's it for today. Thank you so much for being here. Bye for now.